Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Adil and I make lifestyle, fashion, and the occasional food video. Um, so today's video is actually going to be my first ever video on YouTube. Not my first ever video on YouTube, that's a lie. It's going to be my first ever video on this channel. And it's going to be just like a little weekend vlog of what I vlog this weekend. Um, there wasn't much just because we're home and we are also fasting because it is the month of Ramadan and we're just together 24-7 and we've been together 24-7 for the past month so there's not much to vlog. Hopefully I got some interesting content for you guys. I also have like really interesting fashion videos coming up. I'm going to be doing a haul soon. Um, I want to do some styling videos so all of that is coming. I just thought I would start with a vlog just so you guys can kind of get to know who I am and like my personality and stuff like that. So this portion of the video, the vlog, is going to be my nighttime skincare routine. I've been really into skincare the past two months really ever since quarantine started um the main thing that made me want to start taking my skincare seriously is i picked up my little sister from the train station because she was coming home for the weekend from university um and at that time we didn't think that the coronavirus was like that serious so this is like she had planned on going back but she never ended up actually going back and the first thing she said to me when she saw me was are you having an allergic reaction because like i have really bad texture it's gotten significantly better in the past few months but when she said that i was like oh shit like my skin really is as bad as i thought because you know you think you like overanalyze yourself so you're like nah it's not that bad but it really was that bad and i'll insert some pictures here of what my skin looked like on that actual day and then what it looks like today so it's a huge difference um so i'm just gonna take you through my nighttime skincare routine since i've actually developed a pretty good routine that i'm happy with so to start with cleanser, obviously, just to get all the dirt from the day off my face, I use the Caudalie Instant Foaming Cleanser. And this is a really gentle cleanser. It makes, it just leaves your face feeling like super hydrated. It doesn't strip your face of the moisture, which I find a lot of cleansers do. And also my cousin told me that you actually have to cleanse for 60 seconds apparently so i can tell you that my whole life i have not been cleansing for 60 seconds and i still don't even think i cleanse for 60 seconds that's a long time to cleanse your face i feel like um so i'm just going in with the cleanser okay so i finished cleansing my face i got a bit of water on my sweater but i finished cleansing my face and usually if i put makeup on you guys i will cleanse twice so i'll use just like a random set of filler like a saint ives cleanser first and then i'll go on with the caudalie cleanser um just because honestly i was watching suzanne yara's youtube video who is like a really big skincare youtuber and she recommends double cleansing once you put makeup on just because the first cleanse doesn't really get all the makeup off of your face so she actually recommends doing an oil cleanse and then going in with your regular cleanser so the next product that i use guys i saw this i feel like i saw this on a youtube video like a year ago of somebody saying that they use anti anti-dandruff shampoo like this particular anti-dandruff shampoo to get rid of the little bumps on their face and honestly desperate times call for desperate measures like i was really desperate to get rid of the texture on my face i feel like it made my makeup look worse i just wasn't comfortable with my skin every day so i got this and i've been using it as a mask which is what you're supposed to do um and it apparently helps get rid of texture and i've noticed like a huge difference in my texture and i don't know if it's this product or if it's a serum that i've also been using that i'm going to talk about a little bit later but i will I think I got some on my lips, but I'll leave this on for 10 minutes and then I'll just wash it off. And I've been using it for over a week now. And I do think this is what's made the biggest difference in my texture just because um, I was using the serum, I think two weeks before that. And like, I noticed a difference in my skin, but not as drastic as now. Um, my skin just looks so much more like glowy and smooth which I'm not used to having because I've had texture for as long as I can remember. And yeah, so I'll just leave this on for 10 minutes. I 
Okay, you guys, so I finished with that mask and I washed off my face. Um, so the next product that I'm going to be going in with is my Ola Hendrickson Glow OH Toner. And this is a dark spot toner, so it's just a brightening toner. It has AHA in it as well. AHA. I said that so fast. Um, so yeah, I use this every night. So I just take a clean cotton pad, pour some on. And then I just kind of go in little circles around my face and just try to get the toner everywhere. And then once I'm finished going all over my face, I will just bring it down to my neck a little bit as well. Now that that's done, I'm going to wrap my next product, which is something that I recently started doing. And I'll tell you guys why in a second. I recently started adding a hydrating water essence to my nighttime routine because I was using this retexturizing serum by Biosauce, Biosauce and um, I started, I don't have dry skin usually, so I'll just kind of do a similar method with the toner, but I'll pat this one in. To the skin the reason i started using this is because i was using the biosauce retexturizing serum um every night and i started developing dry skin and i don't i'm not like prone to dry skin like i have pretty oily just like what is it called combination i have combination skin so i don't have super oily skin and i don't have super dry skin um and i was developing dry skin and i was like i knew it was either the serum that I was using, so I cut that out. But I realized that, like I need, like I still need to be using. I stopped using this toner too because I stopped using anything that had like a shades in it just to see how my skin would react for like a week. And my skin was no longer dry, but like obviously my skin didn't look as radiant as it does now just because I stopped using the products that were helping me, like make my skin look better. If that makes sense. So adding that hydrating essence just gives me the like extra bit of moisture I need before I put my serum on um, for my skin to not be dry. So that's done. And then I'm going to be going in with this and this is a fairly new product that I got. Like I got it a month ago and it is the Biosauce. You can't really see that. It's the Biosauce Squalane plus Lactic Acid Resurfacing Night Serum. So I'll take two pumps of this and I just put that on my face. So before I would just use my first aid beauty cream, like for the one that I use for the day, um, for night, like nighttime as well. But I started using, well my sister recommended that I start trying out her Caudalie Vino Perfect um, Brightening Glycolic Night Cream. This is what it looks like. Um, and I've been using it for almost two weeks now and i just purchased my own because the sephora sale was going on and it was on sale so i was like okay i might as well just purchase my own because i literally my skin looks so glowy when i wake up in the morning and i feel like it's obviously a combination of all these products but having a good night cream i feel like has also helped my skin usually i'll use the biosauce squalene um, oil but i don't know where it is right now so i'm just gonna use this oil by elf elf actually has a really good skincare the essence was also by elf and this is what it looks like so i'm going to use two drops of this i find going to sleep with the oil just help seal in all the moisture that I had put into my skin and all the products that I also just put into my skin. Okay, you guys, so I applied that oil by e.l.f. I'm actually gonna put this back in the drawer before I forget. And the last step is I'm going to be going in with the Laneige Sleep Mask. Um, just for my lips because my lips have been feeling really dry lately. So we'll go in some of that. And that is 
officially the last step. Okay, so that concludes my nighttime skincare routine. I'm gonna be doing, hopefully, a morning skincare routine as well and showing you guys the products that I use during the day because I feel like those products also make me look super glowy and just like fresh and youthful during the day. So I'm making a large skillet cookie. Um, I found this recipe on a YouTube video and I'll leave the video linked down below. But I wanted to make this like large cookie that we could eat with some ice cream for iftar. I'm so excited, honestly. Like I'm really hungry and this, there's like 30 minutes left till we break our fast. So I was like, why not just bake to kill that time? So let's get started. I have all my ingredients that I need here. The first thing that you need is gonna be some softened butter. And I'll leave all the measurements like on the screen just so I don't have to say it and just to make sure that I don't mess anything up. So I have my butter and then I have my two sugars. I have brown sugar and just white granulated sugar. So I'm gonna add those in. So we're just gonna mix that all together. Should be good to start adding in your egg and your vanilla extract. I always do this over the bowl because if you have an extra vanilla extract, I mean, it doesn't hurt. This is ready to go in the oven now and it's going to be going into the oven for 18 to 20 minutes and my oven's been preheating at 350 so we're going to put this in on the middle rack i can't wait to eat this oh my God. On the other hand, you know you would not. It's actually really good when I'm not. I was scared. I was scared it wasn't gonna be good. I'm gonna get more, definitely. How good was it to be? first video you guys i can't believe it i'm really really excited to be starting this youtube channel and to just like see where this goes um i've had a couple channels in the past and i've always loved watching youtube i still do it's like i watch more youtube than i do tv and i thought it was just the time that i start my own channel since i consume so much content i was like i can i like doing this um i love editing i love like the whole creative side of it so i was like let me just start my own channel so if you like this video, you should definitely subscribe. I have more fun videos to come. I don't have like an official posting schedule, but I do want to post like minimum at least one video a week, maybe even two ideally, but um, we'll see what happens. It's hard to film content in quarantine, but we're trying to make the best of like what we have. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and also subscribe to my channel if you like my channel and you like my content. Um, there's gonna be a lot more videos coming soon and yeah, I guess we'll just see you guys in my next video